Today I'm making raw zucchini and I'm using this contraption. Sometimes it's called a spiralizer. Um, you can find them online. You can even find them at Amazon.com. You can make vegetable spaghetti out of this, especially from zucchini. So that's what we're doing today. I got this through a special on Groupon. I was really lucky. So it looks like this on the other end. And this piece slides in and out. And then there, there are these different cutters, and I'm going to stick a knife in here because this one's pretty tight. And there are three different kinds. You can see the other two store in here, and this particular one makes spaghetti. So one of the tricks is to get the thickest piece of zucchini you can. I peel it. This is a half of a zucchini, and you'll see why in a minute, because you're not going to be using the center. And all you need to do is stick it in one end. It's got these prongs on the other. It's got suction feet. And then put a low bowl on this end. And then you just turn this handle and out comes zucchini that looks a lot like spaghetti. And you try to keep it in the bowl. <laughs> And you can do a whole one. I did a half yesterday because I wanted to save another half for the demonstration today. And you'll get to the end and it can't go any further. And this is what you're losing. You're losing the center that's about a quarter inch thick. This is why you don't want to buy a thin zucchini for this. And I actually give this to my dog because she enjoys it. Then this comes out pretty long. So I'll use kitchen shears to cut them. Let me get those. And I'll just cut them because they're just really, really long. And then the next thing you want to do is sprinkle a tiny amount of salt on. And I just mean a tiny amount. The salt will help the zucchini become even more pliable so it'll be even more like spaghetti rather than like a stiff a stiff vegetable. And I'll show you in the next scene what I'm going to do to season it or to put a sauce on it. After very lightly salting the zucchini spaghetti and tossing it a little bit and letting it sit for about five minutes, even ten minutes is fine. It makes it a lot more spaghetti-like. I once put in too much salt. I put a little bit and I thought that's not enough and I put a little bit more. Don't put in more. A little bit is fine. So a lot of times I don't have time to make the traditional raw marinara sauce. Um, it, you know, By then I'm just running out of time. So one of the cheat things, cheater things I do is uh, get some pesto and some sun-dried tomatoes from Trader Joe's. And I just take a small spoon with the pesto and of course with clean hands I put some of this in and then just toss it around. Sometimes I have less zucchini spaghetti in the bowl. depends on how hungry I am and what else I'm making. So I toss it around till I know this is the part that's not a whole lot of fun to watch. Till I like how much I have and I like how tossed it is. No, I'm not going to watch it make it. I'm not going to make you watch that. I say. And then this is their sun-dried tomatoes in a jar. Yeah, probably not as healthy as the ones that come in a bag, but they're really good. And I'll put some of these in here. This comes packed in oil. And the Trader Joe's brand, of course, is cheaper than most because they, I think they knock out a middleman. Alright. And then, if I have some cherry tomatoes around. I'll put in some cherry tomatoes. 
and if it's summertime and I have some basil, I'll put in some basil. So you can add whatever you like to make a quick, nutritious meal. <laughs>